Hi everyone, let's begin with previous one. Log into dashboard and software center. It will show packages whatever we have. Backup bandwidth backup for backing up every configuration which we have done and we can restore whenever we want bandwidth monitor for monitoring bandwidth means uh, how much bandwidth we are using and basic firewall is for configuring a network adapters and basic firewall is used to block access to I mean to accept any uh, rules and reject any rules for that one it will be useful basic firewall and DNS and DHCP server is used for configuring giving IP address automatically to the client machine and Dutch language this is a language which we, uh, this, this is English language like that Dutch language is used for Dutch and email server it is used to send and receive emails in local server fax server etc etc we have now we will go with some basic basic things like a basic firewall DHCP server email server and file server we will check later first we will go with the basic configuration settings web filter if needed web proxy for firewalls because this web filter and web proxy will be used to block any domains like youtube facebook torrents etc now i am adding these all filters packages see firewall base dns and dhcp web filter and web proxy apply changes after installing the basic firewalls and uh, some minor packages only we will get that internet we can view that internet in networks otherwise we otherwise we can't view that internet in that networks here uh, after installing that one i will show how it will be visible to us previously pre in previous tutorial we can't view that internet red zone but we can uh, see that green land zone <coughs> now after installing these rpms we can view red zone also let it install download and install it will take some time based on your internet connection Here dashboards is dashboard is used to view everything which was installed on uh, status of Ethernet devices whether it is up or down. Well, this administrator settings settings is used for log viewer for see, checking logs and shutdown if you want to shut down or reboot your NAS server machine and software center for installing or updates any updates required for those packages and security network services is used for services which which will operate through network and ssh is for secure shell which you can remotely connect to through terminal that one you we have initially configured port number that is the ssh trusted networks you have to add trusted networks uh, obviously it will be a green LAN zone because trusted networks is uh, basically a LAN zone only. Configuration DNS is for domain naming system for fully uh, to resolve the IPs to domain names and date and time to fix you uh, fix the network time and network is used for Ethernet inter interfaces 
like green, red, DMZ, Bluehost, etc. Organization contacts is refers to organization address. What is the organization? This net server belongs to which organization? For our convenient purpose only, it will be useful. And server certificate, it will be inbuilt server certificate when we install net server or when we open login page, it will be automatically installed one certificate. That is certificate server certificate. If you want to install another, add another certificate, you can add in server certificate. <coughs> That's not a problem. <coughs> Excuse me. And server name is local host name, local domain. If you want to change local host name and local domain name, you have to go to server name and you have to add the uh, edit those settings. And static routes. If you want to give any static routes, you can go uh, go through the static routes and you have you can change those static settings. Here are the basic things when after installing Net Server. When these packages are uh, are installed. Then you will find some few settings other than these one. That one you can find after installing these packages. Let us wait for a few minutes until it is done. I will catch in next video.